In this video, we are testing Mossy Oak's fall foliage pattern. This is an older pattern from Mossy Oak, and some of their newer patterns are higher contrast and may work better in the environments we're testing in. However, reading some of the various posts on forums, some hunters still prefer the older patterns, like their fall foliage pattern. We wanted to test a mimicry pattern like Mossy Oak to understand how mimicry patterns work and to see how effective they are in our environments. Mimicry patterns are designed to look like your surroundings, oftentimes you know, imitating a tree or a leaf. They have a great deal of appeal on a store shelf when viewing them at an arm's length, but what we found when testing our mossy oak fall foliage mimicry pattern is that at any distance beyond 15 yards, you couldn't make out the individual elements in the pattern, and the pattern just blended together into a dark blob. Simulating what an ungulate might see by removing the red channel didn't uh, make the mossy oak fall foliage pattern work any better in this environment. Looking at the pattern in our grassy test environment just reinforced our assumption that we had going into our test that in order for mimicry patterns to work, they have to be mimicking the environment they're being used in. The pattern we were testing just wasn't designed to work in this grassy environment. Simulating what an ungulate might see actually made the pattern perform a little better. Testing in the uh, rocky hillside environment, the observation from the spotters was once again at any distance uh, beyond you know, 15 to 20 yards, the pattern just turned into a dark blob. Simulating what an ungulate might see, we felt made the mossy oak fall foliage pattern uh, perform a little better. It uh, still appeared a little dark for the rocky hillside test environment, but it did uh, you know, blend in a little better. It probably would have worked better if it had some higher contrast, larger pattern changes. We have decided that our initial test results are inconclusive because we were not testing a mimicry pattern that was designed to mimic the environments that we were testing in. However, we are forming the opinion that mimicry patterns are not as versatile as other patterns, and that is because they don't use the more abstract micro and macro elements. We are also forming the opinion that mimicry patterns don't seem to work as well at distance as other patterns because they don't take advantage of the, of the macro patterns. We have more mimicry patterns to test and we are also thinking we should purchase some of the newer patterns from Mossy Oak and test those out. 